So I recently changed the water in this above ground spa. In this video I'm going to show you the chemicals that I use when I take care of an above ground spa. So here's the basic chemicals that you want to use for your above ground spa. You have baking soda here. This will raise the pH and alkalinity if it gets too low. So baking soda is the same product that you would find in other products that are sold that would raise the pH and alkalinity in your pool store. The main ingredient you're looking for is sodium bicarbonate and it's labeled under different things by different manufacturers like alkalinity increaser or spa pure pH up, things like that. Anything that says pH up or alkalinity up is typically sodium bicarbonate. And again, you can just use the sodium bicarbonate baking soda that you would find at your local store. Then you have pH down. This is a dry acid, sodium bisulfate. Use this if the pH gets too high and you want to lower down the pH. So it gets a little confusing as the manufacturers label the sodium bisulfate differently, pH decreaser or spa pH down. Just look for the active ingredient sodium bisulfate and you'll know this will lower both the pH and alkalinity in your spa. You can also use muriatic acid to lower the pH down and alkalinity down in your spa, but I don't recommend this because it's not safe for handling. And besides that, a gallon will last you a very long time since you only need a small amount. Then you have liquid chlorine. This is the best sanitizer you can use in your above ground spa. A lot of the newer spas have UV or ozone, and so the liquid chlorine or bleach is a great way to sanitize the spa. And then last are bromine tablets. If you want to put a floater in your spa and use these bromine tablets, this is also a great way to maintain the level week to week if you can't check your chemicals more often, especially when you're heating your spa all week long. And so these are one inch bromine tablets that you would use in a small floater. Some spas also have a built in tablet holder inside the skimmer. You're also going to need some way to test the water. You can use test strips or you can use a more advanced test kit like this one here. And then you're going to need some kind of measuring tool. So the app that I use gives you dosage measurements in teaspoons. I like converting it to tablespoons. I find it easier to add using a tablespoon measuring versus using teaspoons. So three teaspoons will equal one tablespoon. So one of the things you're going to need to know is how many gallons of water are in your spa. So you're going to need to know how many gallons your spa is. The easiest way to do this is to find the manufacturer and model number. Then go on their website and they'll tell you how many gallons is in your particular spa. This spa here is an eco spa and it has 270 gallons of water in it. And here's a look at the recommended chemistry levels for your hot tub. You want to try to keep your hot tub or spa in the ideal range as much as possible. A lot of the newer spas will have ozone or UV ultraviolet light systems. They may have a combination of both combined. So an ozone system duplicates the natural oxidation process that exists in nature and produces ozone safely in a controlled amount. So the ozone system will destroy microorganisms and also break down harmful chemicals in the water. So the water stays a lot clearer and cleaner with the ozone system operating. And UV light systems work by irradiating the water as it passes through the UV lamp specific wavelength or the UV spectrum will hit the water. When exposed to the UV light at a specific wavelength, the living particles have their DNA rearranged and become unable to reproduce, thus destroying algae, bacteria, and viruses. And so the UV and ozone systems are a great way to enhance the sanitation of your spa. So if you are using bromine tabs for your spa, just be aware that a little goes a long way. You don't need to overload it with tablets. And these bromine tabs are very slow dissolving. They'll keep your spa sanitized all week by releasing a small dose of bromine as they dissolve in your spa. And this spa has an area in the front of the skimmer for the bromine tabs. Simply lift it up, put the tabs in. And if there's no receptacle in the skimmer for the bromine tablets, you can use a floater and put the bromine tablets in there and just put that in your spa. And if you're using bromine tablets to sanitize your hot tub or spa, if the bromine level gets down to zero, you want to go ahead and use granular bromine to bring up the bromine level in the spa to activate the bromine tablets. You don't want to use liquid chlorine or any other kind of chlorine product in your spa to bring up the level. So as a general rule, you don't want to mix chlorine with bromine. So if you're using chlorine to sanitize your hot tub, you don't want to use bromine tablets in there. In the same respect, if you're using bromine to sanitize your hot tub, you don't want to use liquid chlorine to bring the chlorine level up in the hot tub if you're using the bromine tablets. And you want to test the water weekly to check the chemistry in your hot tub. 
You can use test strips. You can also use a region test kit like the Taylor K2006. Or you can use a photometer or digital tester, which is what I'm using in this video to test the spa. So let me go ahead and run the test at the spa that I'm at right now. So the pH here is coming at 8.48. So I'm going to go ahead and use the dry acid to bring the pH down here. Okay, I'm going to check the alkalinity here. Okay, the alkalinity is coming in at 140. So the dry acid should lower the alkalinity down also, as well as the pH. And since this is a covered above ground spa, there is no conditioner or cyanuric acid in here. So there's no reason to test for it. Okay, I'm going to do the calcium hardness test. There's not much you can do to lower the calcium hardness except drain the spa down. And this one's coming in at 150. So based on your fill water, it's going to be pretty much the calcium hardness of your spa. And the reason why I didn't check the chlorine level or bromine level in this spa is that I just recently drained it and refilled it with fresh water. So I know there's no chlorine in here. So I'm going to go ahead and check the chlorine the next day to make sure it's at 3 parts per million. Then after you take the readings in your spa, the easiest way to get the dosage amount to bring the chemistry in range is to use an app that can calculate the amount you're going to add to the pool based on your reading. I like the poolcalculator.com. So I have entered in here that it's a hot tub, 270 gallons, and the water temperature is 100 degrees. So there's no chlorine in the hot tub since I just recently drained this one and refilled it. And so the chlorine level is at zero. I'm going to bring it to three parts per million. It's telling me I need to add five teaspoons of the liquid chlorine. And then the pH is 8.4, and I need to add roughly about five teaspoons of the dry acid to bring it down. Now if the alkalinity was low, let's say 60 parts per million, you can bring it up using the baking soda and it'll give you the amount to add here. I'm going to drop down to the calcium hardness. It was at 150, which is in range of what it should be. But if I wanted to bring it to 200, it tells me the amount of calcium chloride I need to add to bring it to 200. So an app like the pool calculator is definitely essential to calculate the amount of chemicals to add to your spa to balance the water. And you want to add the chemicals with the spa running. And yeah, back here the next day to get a chlorine reading. So then I get a chlorine reading the first day. I want to make sure that there's at least three parts per million of chlorine in here. So the chlorine reading here is 3.68 parts per million. So it's definitely within range. And that's a look at adjusting the chemistry in your above ground spa. It's actually very easy to do. Inyopools.com has been helping pool owners find the right pool parts in 2001. With over 50,000 pool parts in stock, order online today and have the parts delivered right to your door. Jobber is your business's command center. The easy to use app powers your sales, operations, and customer service all in one place. Check the description below to save 20% off your first six months.